Hello out there, world. It is your boy, Sir Sturdy. <clears throat> and uh, this is the last this is the last episode of the year of Horror with Sir Sturdy. Like, it's, it's pretty cool. This is pretty cool. It's been a long, long fucking year, too. Great year. There's been a lot of ups and downs, of course. That happens in life and in everything else. <laughs> but <clears throat> overall, it's been a great year. And met a lot of great people. Built some relationships with others that I've had relationships with, you know, other good friends and all that, stronger relationships. And all of them couldn't be here, of course. But uh, it's just awesome, man. And I'm so fucking excited to do this tonight. Like, I've never fucking done a list. I've never done a countdown list. Talked about it plenty of times. um, And just never did it. But this year, I did it, guys. I got a list, and I got some guys to come around and discuss it with me. I'm going to bring them on one by one. I'm going to start off with, you know him. And you love him. And he's back. And the reason I'm going to start off with him is because the beginning, or no, it was the end of last year. I was like, yo, <coughs> 2023, James, I'm fucking doing the letterbox all year for all the movies that I watch and review and everything. And uh, what else did I say? I, I said a bunch of other shit that I didn't do. I didn't do that either. I lasted well, until about you February. Said the letterbox, March. And James you're going to do the list. It. You're going to do the list. Every month, you're going to have a yep. top movie of the month. We had a whole bunch of plans. Yeah. Yeah. We had ideas. And it just fell through. But, 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 I do have, I am fucking with Letterbox again, people. I'm going to do it again. But with the help of a very good friend, he could be a bit snobbish, but a very good friend. He was like, why don't you do this, Dirty? Because you watch a lot of fucking movies anyway. The movies that you plan on watching, just put them on your letterbox list after you watch them and put watch. So that's what I'm going to start doing so I can build it up. I can do the movies for my week as far as when the, the pod movies for the week. Boom, because I'm already going to know those after the wheel spun, which there will be a wheel spun tonight for the kickoff for 2024 for Horror, with Horror Source 30. And there will be an announcement later on tonight as well for the kickoff of Popcorn and Pints. We're on the same fucking network, and I mean, two of us are on the show, so why the fuck not? And then, last but not least, listen, 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 <coughs> I got to tell you guys this one, how we got him here. So, uh, Mr. Manhattan was over at a carnival, and um, we stole him from a circus. <laughs> there, was, there, was, there, was, there, was, there was someone in a circus. And not only was he in a circus, but he was locked in a cage. I don't know why. I well, I I, I feel like I know why. I mean, me and him are about the same complexion, so <laughs> like that's why. But again, I don't know. And uh, so yeah. So what you're saying, what you're saying, re really is, um, he couldn't, he didn't have the absurdity he wanted from the circus, so he found this circus, and as a white savior, I came in and and plucked him into the world um, of absurdity. That sounds very sexual, so I'm not going to say that. <clears throat> I didn't say fucked him. I said plucked. Too close. It was Listen, still close. People could take too plucking, close to comfort. plucking is anything else. But what happened was Mick found him and Mary rescued him. She said, Mick, you can keep him. Mick got all happy. Okay. And now we have Paul. Who don't say, got, a, white, my, don't, don't say a white guy can keep... Uh... No, he doesn't. He doesn't <laughs> own him like that. No, 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 no. He's he's gonna be my Guatemalan pool boy. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> Thank like, you again for that, Mick. I'm very grateful for all that. Keep him. <laughs> uh, all the days yeah. of the white savior, I guess. Happy I don't know, year, bro. Happy I've assumed this role. Yeah. Happy uh, New Year in America. At least. Godzilla was the movie of the year. I haven't seen Shout Godzilla out to Gio. yet, and I have not. Technically, I had a horror. It could have been, but I mean, there's heart. There's definitely like it. It horror stands element. up in horror for sure. Huh. But I know he's not Guatemalan. Well, no, no, no. Tonight, <laughs> tonight, tonight, tonight. He is tonight. He's Guatemalan. <laughs> Thank you, Matt. <laughs> he's ending the year I Guatemalan. Love, I love Matt's loyalty to you so much. That's just like that motherfucker. And he's starting he's the year Guatemalan. fresh, Honduran again. That's all. <laughs> Yes, and Geo, uh, I, I I do want you to pay attention to these lists, man. I'm sorry, I should have reached out to you earlier because I meant to have you on, and just you already know how my brain works, man. 
Oh, look at this. Surf 30 was first. Good fucking job, man. You keep doing that. <clears throat> Godzilla was the, Facebook user. Yeah, Facebook user said Godzilla was the movie of the year. I, 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 I it. it was I number one on my list. See it yet? It was number two but, on no, my list. I have a question. No, um, a, actually, I'm gonna put it in the private chat. Ooh, it's two inches. <laughs> but I'll give it to her three times, so it's still six inches as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> Fuck you. I am built like an Arizona <laughs> iced tea can. <laughs> uh maybe towards the end maybe i was only saying it just because of that right there well all right so since somebody did bring up godzilla yes so for the next 15 weeks to celebrate the 70th anniversary of the first godzilla film coming out and the massive box office of godzilla minus one and also the upcoming godzilla uh, and Kong, the new empire, we will be doing for the next 15 weeks watching every Godzilla film and ha having an in depth look at it. It will be about three films a week for the most part. That's kind of the average. And uh, I think that it picks up on two. And yeah, we're going to do an in depth look all the way through um, to New Empire. We're also going to cover Monarch the first season. So to follow along, I might watch we got, them all uh, too. We got I like the Godzilla movies. Yeah, I'm down to do that. So it starts this week. Uh, we should have it up towards the end of the week. Uh, it's going to be pre-recorded, so it'll be up on the Scene Snobs YouTube channel, so you can go check it out there. Bam, <clears throat> bam! Thing. I just, I just felt like I was like, look, Godzilla was mentioned. Got a uh -huh. plug. But uh, so yes, we are gathered here tonight to do a streaming list. All right, well, we're doing a, a top five with honorable mentions, if you have any. It wasn't it wasn't required, but so the lists are top five 2023 streaming, top five 2023 theater release. And with theater release, that doesn't mean you had to see it in theaters. All that means is it had to be released in theaters. That's it. That's the only criteria. And then top five overall and bottom five overall. The only rule with these is first time watch this year. It does not matter what year they came out. It does not matter how many times you watched any of these movies this year. They just have to be a first time. It's going to be just a first time watch this year. Of course, the 2023 movies are a first time watch. And of course, for certain lists, movies can you know overlap, jump around and all that shit. But uh, I meant to have this cool pop up thing for you guys. OBS fucked up and uh, that's not going to happen. I will have something on TikTok for you guys as far as like once all my lists are done. TikTok and all that them short shit. You guys are going to get them instead. Um, and You know, uh, I try to set that all my list on a program uh, on a uh... I made it. I did hot line, like all mm -hmm. the graphics and everything, and I put it on OBS as a like a pop up. I then I hit the eyeball to make it, it pop up. It wouldn't pop up. I was like, "Why aren't you showing the fucking list? You piece of garbage!" Pissed me off. So now I got to look. Happy New Year, Samantha. Yo, Happy ask New Year, you can ask, ask fucking Mick. I was working on this shit all fucking day, right? <laughs> all fucking day between I was working, watching football I for like three hours when I was working, like watching football. Watching movies, I was watching movies all week just to get some movies caught up, you know, just to, for this list. But watching movies and all this other shit, and then watching football, and then I'm working on this all day. <laughs> and as I'm getting to the tail end of it, is when it just decides to just say, you know what, sturdy, fuck you. But you know what, I'm not mad about it because it always makes a funny fucking story, and it's how I'm ending the year. So it seems I'm gonna start the year out even better, and I'm excited for it. Remember my first episode that was supposed to come out, guys, that I told you about. My very first episode that was supposed to come out I was recording this little recorder thing, which. <clears throat> I think I have it right here. I think I Your hat is so perfect, Mick. I can't get over it. I should have dressed up for New Year's. I, I do. Stop. This, this <laughs> some bitch right here, this is funny. I have this up here. So oh, this yeah. little recorder right here was supposed to be, uh, was supposed to record my very first episode of Horror Research 30. Um, <clears throat> and you know, typical guy you just plug it in you don't read the directions you don't even read the fucking thing you just on off record go and that's exactly what i did and you know so we were going to scarecon which is out near syracuse for those of you you know that i'm just telling you guys i'll just say syracuse new york about two hours from us more or less hour and a half two hours we're going out there 
I bring this, I'm like, yeah, let's record, you know, make it the first episode. We'll talk about going to the con, this, that, and the third, then we'll record on the way back, maybe at the con. Record on the way there, stop to go take a PP break, then, you know, get to the con, record on the way home. Get home to set it up, plug it in. I'm like, yeah, guys, I'm going I'm to get this shit set up, all excited. I may even made a few Facebook posts about it. Come to find out, guys. So I'd go there, turn it on, hit record, and just turn it off. I never fucking hit save. Ever. <laughs> so I didn't have shit for the supposed episode one, but I'm so happy that fucking happened. I am so fucking happy that happened because it was just, it's hilarious to me now. And it's a learning lesson. And I mean, now I know to pay more attention to shit like that. For one, I mean, it's common sense, yes, but still, you don't think about that, especially when you're excited about something. It's like, even though you're excited, you still got to pay attention to the little shit. Yeah. You still got to pay attention to the little shit. And yeah, I know it was my first episode, but I've, it's not like I've never recorded anything before. I was already, I was doing videos. I was doing um, video shorts on my podcast or on my horror group, which I lost and had to rebuild. Still rebuilding, but <clears throat> whatever. What's good, CJ? And uh, yeah, man, now I'm here. And up, CJ? Technology, technology again. This time I can blame technology, though. For the OBS shit, I can blame technology. First time, that was 100% my fault, but it was dealing with technology. But uh, shit, 462 episodes now and uh, counting, and I'm still going. And I'm still, it just shows you, you're still going to make mistakes no matter, no matter how far you get in this shit. Just keep going. Yeah. Uh-huh. You're still gonna make mistakes, and you're gonna. And the funny thing is, a lot of the mistakes you're, mistakes you're gonna make aren't gonna be like the real big ones. It's gonna be the stupid shit, like forgetting to hit save. <laughs> well, like if you don't take it seriously, quit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, <laughs> and enjoy, like, enjoy it, enjoy it. I'm telling you, it's a fun fucking ride. <laughs> it's a fun fucking journey, but it's a lot. <clears throat> and if you don't like think you can handle it, if you're being too much stress to your life, because it can be stressful, but. I enjoy it so much I don't let it stress me out. I just, you know, figure it out. Uh, watch a good movie. Watch a bad movie. Take it out on that when I'm talking shit about it. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, we're gonna we're gonna dive into this. We're gonna dive into this. And um, crazy. What list are we starting with here? I'm thinking of a number between one and twelve. Between you three, That's just put hot. it in the private chat. <laughs> Oh God! I'm high. Uh, Between one and twelve, I'll put my number down right now. Go ahead, Chris and. Um, you're thinking of a number between one and twelve. Yep. Paul dropped a number. Okay. Uh, James. Why did so you guess? Go first? I didn't guess. I was telling that was the number I picked. Oh. <laughs> I just didn't want to put it down, then you guys all freaking pick it. Oh, he picked that. When? A t-shirt? You're gonna go first and picking. You're gonna go first and picking either streaming or uh, what you call it list. If this fucking thing would work, streaming or what list? We got like four streaming list or theater list. <clears throat> no, streaming or theater. The other two are gonna okay. Go let's go theater. And then just do your your number five, and that's it. Number five, uh-huh. theater release or honorable mention. Actually, honorable mention. Okay. You did it. Oh, that's weird. Or the last voyage of the Demeter. Oh shit! Oh shit! Which one are we doing? <clears throat> uh, streaming twenty twenty three. Uh, honorable mention. Three uh, theater release. Honorable. Or, sorry, mention. theater. Theater. Okay, let me <laughs> pull it up. So <laughs> confusing. I know. I'm listening, dude. Why do you <laughs> got to make this shit so confusing? <laughs> You're not. <laughs> <listening. laughs> All right. Oh, I'm on the screen, so it's me. All yes, right. Well, <laughs> looking. I was looking at my list. Uh, what number am I doing? So you're doing theater, honorable mention. So you're honorable you're mention, the blackening. Okay. Okay. And if anybody has any comments on anybody's movies where you have can not say seen something, that. also, I forgot, after- I forgot to watch that movie. So after we finish this, after we just- finish this theater list, we'll go around. <laughs> do are the, were these, were these, were these movies worth being in the theater? I didn't like the title. You know, we'll do that type of deal. It made my skin crawl. So, uh... <laughs> <laughs> not you, Paul. My honorable mention was actually Scream Six. Ooh, is Scream Ooh. Six Ooh. as your as your? Uh, oh, uh, it's not it's honorable mention. mention. So it's not in my top five, but it was honorable mention at least. Gotcha. Mm. All right, guys, I had to do it. 
I had Uh-oh. to do it. And I'll tell you Uh-oh. my fifth one up here as well. And we'll do it like that. So my honorable mention was Cocaine Bear. Ooh. And I know we're not in the conversation yet, but I have I, I, I want to talk about this when it comes to the theater and streaming. When we get to that, I want to talk about this movie in particular. Interesting. But uh, while I'm still here, you know, we'll do like the snake thing with the draft. My number five, Megan. And this that was like one movie that came out in early January. So that uh, is fucking awesome that that stood up for me personally for that fucking long. Uh, yeah, good movie is stoned up. Hell yeah. <clears throat> Mine was uh, Thanksgiving for Ooh. number five. Sweet. I, I was immensely impressed by that one. I, that's how a slasher should be done. I, I, love I agree. And I'm hoping there's sequels. I agree. <clears throat> um, number five, The Exorcist Believer. Okay. It was on your list? I'm kind of ashamed of you. For, for theater. You're going to be really ashamed <laughs> of me, <either>, Nick. <laughs> uh, my number five is Renfield. Of course it is. <clears throat> Don't get mad at me. That shit was fine. I haven't seen it. All right. While you're still up there, Nick, what's your number four? Uh, my number four is Knock at the Cabin, which is another January or February release last year. That was I haven't seen that one I wasn't one crazy either. about that one. I didn't hate it. But I was so many goddamn wasn't crazy about it. My head is itchy tonight. I don't know what's going on. It's sad. I watched a lot of like a lot of the popular ones that everybody else seen. Here we go. This bullshit again. Come on, restream. Get it together. Or is it me? Oh, it's me. <laughs> oh, I get to go next. Yeah, it's gonna be random. I'm high as shit. Okay. My my number four was uh, the Exorcist Believer. Okay. God, you people disgust me. Not what kind of bullshit is not that? Not Dorans. <laughs> I mean, the movie was pretty Matt good. Watson. Calm down. <laughs> I mean, you two, you and James. That movie was terrible. <laughs> you know, it was terrible. The blackening. But we're not going to go back and forth. That movie we told <laughs> yeah, you. Yeah. No, you're not. You have to hold off your judgment till you watch it the way we told yep. you to. That's that's terrible. Yeah, the point. That's, no, it's not. It's not uh, because there's movies that are just like that. There's movies that are stoner flicks or whatever. All right, fuck it. James, you oh, have to be big like this. <laughs> it's okay. Yeah. Yes, sir. Cocaine bear. Oh. Yeah, I thought. All right, I got a four for you. Oh, it was fun. Man. I just liked it a lot. I agree. Yeah, it was I'm fun as young, fuck. Man. It was fun as fuck. So my four is one that I just found this week. And it was a theater release. Like I googled it, made sure it was a theatrical release. I was, I thought it was just streaming, but it's called Birth Rebirth. Yo, this movie is fucking crazy. Women, white women, and Spanish women are fucking dangerous. If you married one, be careful. Mick, I'm talking to you, and I'm talking to myself. Be and careful. Paul. And Paul, Jalen, be careful. They're, they're wow. This movie was really good, really fucked up, really creepy. Like, it just, it's something that is going to stick that I know I won't forget for a while. But Wait, what, what movie? It's called Birth Rebirth. Oh, yeah. Wow. That made you, you just watched that yesterday, didn't you? Yeah. No, the other day, like two days ago, I think. But yeah, that shit was really good. And the act, and on top of it, like, the acting was really good. Actually, especially like per character, like, Every character fit the role they were playing. And it was just like, holy shit. Like, you could just see the, oh my God. If you highly recommend it, highly recommend it. This, this movie right here, I know it's number, what is this, four on my theater list. Highly recommended on like every list, though. <clears throat> Even though it's number four on this list, highly recommended on every list. Just because the story in it and the, the connection in it, it's just like, holy shit, wow. Wow, what people will do under certain situations. And my number three movie is another movie that, uh, which I have some things to say about this one as well when we get to that conversation after this list. Um, but Hunt Her, Kill Her. I don't know if you guys have heard of it, but it was, it was a deal. Me and the wife went, we just randomly went to go see it. We were looking for a horror movie to watch in theaters. They were like, oh shit, this is a horror movie. I heard nothing about it. Let's go watch it. 
And it's like this this woman, she's I don't want to give away too much, but she's it's like a, a warehouse invasion, like a job invasion, I guess you would say. Hmm. And someone some people come in there basically and just watch it. It's it's intense. It's intense. It's good. I really freaking enjoyed it. I really freaking enjoyed it. So number uh, three. three for me is talk to me. Nice. I dug nice. that. Th- and thank you to Paul for that. Paul was the one that actually uh, told me I should watch it. Um, I so, yeah, I was a big fan. Nice, nice. But don't let him get a big head about it. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, my number three. Sorry, it was uh, Knock at the Cabin. Okay, okay. So do your three. And... Yeah. Three was Thanksgiving. Mm, nice. What was your, and then do your two. And number two, two was Cobweb. Nice. nice. Ooh. Here we go. Uh, one of the new revamps I don't like is the tech. Yeah, that was. Yeah. Uh... <sighs> I think that was 2022, but I agree with you. Like, if it was your but first year rewatch, like, I looked uh, it up. It was, it was garbage. Yeah, it was. Yeah, it was early 22 too. But I agree with you, man. Like, it just the now the kills were cool, but it made no sense to the fucking story. Yeah, agreed. Agreed. My number two, correct. Yes. yes, sir. Number two is a haunted mansion for me. Ooh, that was a good one. That wow. almost made my list. Ooh, wow. a lot of people, a lot of people shit on that, and I didn't like. I didn't like that they were. I was like, this is. Well, a- I liked it, but it wasn't. It wasn't a uh, horror or nothing. That's I didn't need it for that though, because it's a Disney mm-hmm. film. So like, <clears> I, I don't know. I'm just, yeah. I'm just no, it was good. I liked That's it. Fair. I was shocked that I liked it. I liked it. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. Funny, real quick about that movie because we're talking <laughs> about it. Funny, so that movie came out around the same time as uh, the Turtles movie that came out, which was fucking awesome. <clears throat> yeah, and I remember me and the wife went out. It was cool, and we were going there. In her mind, we were going there to see Turtles, but in my mind, I was like, if they're both playing at the same time, we're gonna see this because she really wants to see this. They just happened to play. It was like a five minute difference. I was like, yeah, we're gonna go see this. She was, and she didn't realize it until like she grabbed the tickets and got all excited. You know how they get. <clears throat> oh, they. Get. Yeah, woman. Well, happy. Oh, you happy. <laughs> Did you just mansplain what you meant? Yeah, maracas, all this Spanish shit. But yeah, they were coming from everywhere. You weren't there, Mick. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so uh, what was your number two, Mick? Uh, Thanksgiving is my number two. Ooh. Thanksgiving is actually my number two as well. Oh, shit. Now, I guess I'm my number hard, one. Man. I just love the Kills movie. Yes, it was fun. It was fucking fun. It was. It's what you want, like what uh, Paul said earlier. What you wanted from a slasher, not only that, but it's what you wanted from a holiday slasher. Mm. It's what you wanted from a holiday slasher, and it's something that I I would like to see come back at least two more times. Why not? Yeah, that shit was pretty cool. So my number one theater release. Oh, hey, buddy. Hopping on just to say, hey, hey, what's up, man? Happy New Year. Oh. Good to see you, my oh. friend. Can you yeah. guys hear me? Now yes, we sir. can. All right. Good to see you, man. How's it going, fellas? Um, a lot better than R. Kelly. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that probably applies 24-7. Uh, possibly, possibly. Maybe 23-6, but. Yes, yes. <laughs> Happy New Year, fellas. Happy yes, New Year, Happy sir. New Year. Happy New Year. Wanted sir. to hop Happy on and see New how Year, things were going. Man. Appreciate it. Appreciate Good, it. Man. Are you going to hop on the tomorrow show? What's going on tomorrow? Tomorrow is the uh, six year anniversary of Horrible Oh, Story. that's right. Congratulations, buddy. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Yeah. What time is that happening? Um, Will your old ass be up at like eight o'clock? Probably uh, barely. <laughs> it's a work night now. <laughs> oh, shit. It is work. Seven. For you, seven. <laughs> But I do. I would love to see you there. <clears throat> I can pop in. It works. I, I will not. Something. I don't respect you enough to be on your show. I'm not saying I respect him. I'm just saying <laughs> I can pop in. Those are two different things. <laughs> That's fair. <laughs> oh man. Oh man. That's a good. Gotta love, gotta, gotta love guy friends, man. This is how we give it up to each other all the fucking time. <laughs> Except during the orgies, then we're shunting. 
No eye contact. <laughs> wild. There is definitely no eye binge? contact. No. I love that. I love that in the orgy they say no eye contact, but I stare like this. Oh wait, wait, no, no, no. I stare like I stare like this. Twenty twenty four is coming. <laughs> so am I. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. Sturdy puts on nose glasses to see it actually coming at him. It's like, oh, man, man. That's to protect my eyes. Uh, I can. I have to reserve that, right? my opinion until I give up number one. Okay. It almost right. hit my honorable mention for Evil I Dead. Can, I'll chime in on Evil Dead Rise because I've I have not been paying attention. I've been busy, but this That's movie fair. I know I did see, well, and I enjoyed it. I thought it was good. Nice. I agree. Nice. I think it did the franchise proud. It's on what it's on, I think. I can't remember nice. no more. He made Aaron made us do like 18 low and fuck. Listen, I, I, listen I, I, I stopped reading his messages like after the third one. I'm like, these are fucking magazines he's right, trying to write here. You, you gotta stand out. You gotta stand out. But uh, let me get to my number one, and then we can talk about this whole list that, you know, the movies we want to talk about, because I definitely have a couple I pointed out. But my number one was Talk To Me. I really enjoyed it. I really fucking enjoyed that movie. I was like, ooh, this is this movie's kind of creepy. It's creepy. It surprised me a little bit in some some ways, and it kept kept my attention. It was good. It was good. Kept my attention. All that good shit. All that good shit. So my number one was Evil Dead Rise. That's why I didn't want to say anything at the moment. But right. yeah, ultimately oh. it was Evil Dead Rise. Uh, I think it's the best horror movie of the year. They blew it out of the water with that one. Mm. Um, not only do I think it was a good follow, it, like they can, if you consider it a follow up to the originals, I still think it works. And I, that's why I really love when horror movies do that. Uh, where if you're going to take it in a different direction, it still works. It can still work. Like, we're not saying this doesn't work. It's just a different story. Uh, and yeah. I thought that was the best way to do it. I thought I love the family aspect to it. Um, just the movie was great. I, I think that it should be number one on everybody's list, but you guys are all wrong. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Coincidentally, well, Talk to Me is my number one as well. Smart man. Amazing. Talk to me is my number one. Yes. Mm. Look at that. Look at that. Now so you're, you're all just deciding to be wrong. That movie. That movie. I already, haven't seen it. Guys, everything. Don't I just watch. enjoyed the whole yeah. fucking. I loved it. Yeah. I fucking loved it. I the did. It was good. So I guess I should watch that. Chris, we got to get you watching more horror movies. Yeah, I know. Sarah loves them. I. She probably watches more than I do. Oh my. Would she ever come on the podcast? Or is she too uh probably not for? There you go. Scared of blacks. She's not scared of blacks. She just crosses the street. <laughs> that was just a joke. That was just a joke. That was a joke. I just want to make that clear. It was a joke. <laughs> yeah, people are a little too uh we got we, listen, people. I got I gotta say this before we continue with this list conversation, all this shit. Leave all the the two two sensitive shit. Leave that in twenty twenty three, please, because we like to joke around, and you could we know when we're joking, we can tell when we're joking. Oh. Don't censor everything. Stop censoring things too much. It's not that it was. Uh, she's more scared of the mustache. That is just what he, what's going on there. That's. Yeah, look, <laughs> what about the mixed mustache? He's got I'm more joking. of a goatee, full beard going. I have on. a I'm, <laughs> my beard's back, dude. So I'm good. Yeah, yeah, but he looks like he drives one of those vans with no windows. Dude, Dude you look like part you two. should be a backup dancer for Kid and Play. Calm down. <laughs> That's better than a van with no windows. It depends on what the van and the windows is for. That's fair. <laughs> Usually the grabber. It what if it's, mean, a, what wait, if it's listen, a submarine van? Huh? Listen, driving a van with no windows doesn't immediately imply that you're trying to lure kids to your van. You have to specify. You could be doing that for a completely different reason. I'm not giving out candy. <laughs> You know how expensive it is? Oh, oh my you. gosh. Candy is expensive as fuck. Not if it's 70% off the day after a holiday. That's where you have to, <laughs> that's where you have to load up. That's true, but they're still not getting any. So, not they, candy. Most come running like, do you have any candy? And I'm like, listen, I realized somebody spray painted free candy on the side. <laughs> that's not what this is for. This is for my candy hauls for me, my Laffy Taffy's, not you. I realized how we spray painted free candy on the side of the van. That's what makes that thing the funniest part. (laughs) 
Hey, hit the player, not the <laughs> game. <laughs> so video that, that somebody was you just wearing 2023 glasses instead of 2024. And by hate the player, not the game, I did not, I did not mean kids. <laughs> Fuck. We're going to start call, talking about Catholics here in a minute again. Can we um, get, oh, yeah, dude. Might as well, what's the church movie? What's the right. church movie we can talk about? Oh, man. Pope Exorcist, of course. Why yeah. do you have to have a fucking show on the last day of the year? It's been a shitty year. It has you been a shitty year. Back and I'm regret. hammered. So. <laughs> you got to end it with a bang, with a laugh, with a smile. Hope and by bang, to... I mean consensual. This dude chugging Jack? With whoever you choose <laughs> and they choose. Damn. Of age. Fucking in fact, stay away from anyone who's younger than you ever. Always go for older <laughs> or your age. That's it. ID, just you got to ID. I don't ID. I stay with my wife who is older than I am. Well, if you're, <laughs> so like, if you're not married, you got to ID. <laughs> He's right. You got to carry around one of those books that shows you all the fake IDs in it. <laughs> this way, you know, <laughs> it's like die hard her, all of a sudden. Ask her for a blockbuster card, and if she doesn't have one, she ain't. She ain't. I have I mean, one. If she doesn't know what blockbuster cards were, that's right. your red flag. <laughs> yep. Oh my god! <laughs> I'm glad I popped on for this. This was fun. Oh man! Oh man! I don't want to be in the van. Make somebody else in the van. So, all right, I got a quick question for you guys before we get to this list. I do have, I do have a couple questions about these theater movies. <clears throat> so, say you're in prison, right? Jesus Christ! And you're no, 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 no. You're not getting raped. Don't worry it's about that. Okay. Right? I wasn't even thinking that. You're wow. tough. You're it's... tough. You're one of the tough dudes. And matter, your cellmate is R. What? Kelly. Are you making him sing for you? So you're doing the raping. That's no, no. You don't have to rape. Listen, anybody. listen. This... If I'm in prison and there's a threat anywhere near of that, I'm going bye, bye, bye. No, you. Th- 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 there's no booty threats. There's nothing. Backstreet Boys. I just asked you if, if R. Kelly Instinct. is your Instinct. if R. Kelly is your cellmate, are you making him sing for you? Yes. Did nobody get what I just fucking yes. did there? What'd you just Chris, say? The white guy's got it. Yes, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> Paul and I are fucking around. <laughs> I'm, I'm now. I've only been in this country two years. I don't. I don't understand your American jokes yet. You shut sorry, up. Nick. You're more American than I am. <laughs> you damn true. Right. True. That's true. Fucker lives in North Carolina. And he traveled with this. There's nothing more American than I'm running away to travel with the circus. I, it wasn't really a runaway, right. but like you know what it was. But it like, was. <laughs> okay, but still, like, <laughs> but you didn't like weren't captive. You know, like, you were able to just go. Jesus mm. Christ, Paul, I love you. Uh, <laughs> I just want to cuddle you. I just want to hold you right here and just be like, I love you, Paul. You're good. Aww. I got you. Aww. I got you. I love you you're, too, in, yeah. you're in a new circus now. Yeah. And then I throw <laughs> you down like some secret lair. And it's like, yeah. ah, ha, ha, ha. And that, no, I'm just kidding. It's fine. I don't have a secret. <laughs> <laughs> I have Probably neither the money nor the time to make a secret lair. Oh. Holy shit. So wow. I'll just but- hold you until it's going to be okay. But I do I do want to talk about a couple of movies really quick. Like for I'll start off with uh, Cocaine Bear. What do you guys oh. think? Should that have went to straight streaming or should have that have stayed? Um, I went theater? to the theater as soon as I heard it was I, in theaters. I bought a ticket. I was there. The shit, no. sturdy. You second. and I went and saw that. <laughs> I went. Yeah, I went and seen that back to back days. I went and seen it that Friday with the wife, and then went and seen it. Did we? The first. Did we see it the first? We must have saw it the, the first, first weekend. weekend yeah. Out, right. Yeah. Yeah. That shit was great in the theater. Fuck it was, crazy. and that was my that's my question because I wanted to ask with the with just the theater and the streaming ones if they if there's any that should have been streaming or or theatrical whatever, and Cocaine Bear I think it was perfect in theaters. I actually feel like more enjoyable in theaters for first time watch because the atmosphere of everyone around was laughing and all this other shit was fucking awesome. Both times the theater was like that. Like when me and you went, Chris, it was the same time that Friday packed and everybody's having a good fucking time. Dude, I. What I remember more than almost even the movie is I got there right before all the previews started and a preview came. You texted me saying you were grabbing some popcorn or soda or something and a preview for Renfield came on. And I'm just sitting there thinking, I hope this motherfucker walks in when Nick Cage is on screen. (laughs) (laughs) I'm like, come on, man, make this happen. If there's a God. It didn't happen, did it? It did not. You came in after. You know it's funny you say that though, because um, it was—I don't remember what movie it was, but me and the wife went to the movies to go see something, 
And I was getting ready to go. I really had to go take a piss. So I was going to be like, I'm going to take a piss. I swear to you, the fucking Renfield trailer came out. Nick's face, Nick Cage's face came up. I just, <laughs> as I'm walking out the theater, I just gave it the finger and left. <laughs> left, the, left the theater. I was like, this is bullshit. It did not have to. Somebody broke up with you when Gone in 60 Seconds came out. I, I don't understand the hatred for Nick Cage. Was yeah, it? were you yeah, no, not that a windowless man, <laughs> right. sturdy, by someone who is like watching Moonstruck or something as a child? Like, what happened? I just don't. I, like did, I think he was touched by somebody wearing a Nick Cage mask at the very least. Uh, mm -mm. That makes sense. I'll get you a support bear next Christmas. <laughs> I appreciate. Oh, that. I. <laughs> Does yeah. it remind him of the movie of Gone Dirt in Thirty Seconds? He, he oh. 60 seconds? He is having second time. <laughs> he, he came too early, so it keeps reminding him of that. In that Damn case, 30, 30 seconds was correct when James oh, said Oh, shit. Oh, my That's God. That's hilarious. What I just were you doing for those other 20 seconds? <laughs> what did you do, Aaron? Oh, oh, man. No comment. No mean to that, man. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I don't need him. <laughs> but no, there was there was two more um for me on my list at least as far as that honestly I feel like should have been streaming instead of theatrical. And that's that's the uh, birth rebirth movie and hunt her kill her. Because they were both really good movies, but I think if they could have got a push, especially on something like Shudder, I feel like they yeah. get horror movies better pushes. That I think they would have been something to where they would have been high on a they would have been high on my streaming list, I'll say that, which we'll get to that in a little bit. But those two were some really good movies that I go check them out when you guys get a chance. Hunt her, kill her, and birth rebirth. But uh you guys ready to knock out the uh 2023 streaming? Yes. Let's do it. I'm just here to take this all in. That sounds sexual. It uh, that's how I meant it. Okay. <laughs> James, you want to start <laughs> off with your uh, <laughs> your on roll mention? Okay, I don't, I don't have one. Okay, that's fair. You can do, <laughs> hop right to your number five. I I, can't, I, I couldn't find enough. Either. I couldn't find enough movies for it. That's that right. many, that's okay. <laughs> there, there wasn't that many movies. Do your number five. No, I didn't know that. What movies? My number Devil's Door. Okay. My number five was totally killer. Nice. Do you have an honorable mention or no? I did not have an honorable mention. Oh, okay, okay. I, I forgot I was a fucking... What I mean? I don't know. Mick, if you have an honorable mention, you can mention it and your five. If not, just do your All right, five. I, I do have an honorable mention. Honorable mention is The Mill on Hulu. Nice. Um, mm -hmm. Good movie. Go check, yeah, I think everybody should check it out. Um, and then uh, one I actually sturdy turned me on to, uh, I watched the other day. And it made my list. And number five is "No One Will Save You" on Netflix. Ooh, cool little alien esque <laughs> type of movie. So my That's honorable mention was "The Mill" as well. And my number five, which j like th this list right here, kept getting switched around today because of this fucking week. This list, and actually, shit, I was working on every single one of these lists till till today. Literally, ask Mick. <laughs> but yeah, uh, anyway, there with you. So my my uh, my honorable mention, like I said, is the mill. My number five is totally killer. I remember having such an excellent time watching that movie. It was fun. It was funny. It was everything you fucking wanted. And I guess just because everybody gave the number five, so I'll get my number four, just to get it down. The angry black girl and her monster. Nice. Yo, if you really pay attention to that movie and that just the black like, version of it's me, story? Margaret. No. God, never, seen watching that. Okay. <laughs> never seen that either. But uh, this movie's really dope. <laughs> over on Shutter, if I'm not mistaken, over on Shutter, go check it out. This movie was dope. Number four. My number four is uh, Totally Killer. Oh, nice, nice. My number four was VHS 85. I didn't watch any of those movies this year. I should have. But uh, James, what's your four and your three? Number four is Vice. Viking Wolf. Number three Viking was Wolf. Friday Night at Freddy's. Oh shit! Nice. 
You want me to do number three? <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> number yeah. three is it's Hell House LLC origin. Yeah. Sorry. Nice, it's, nice. I like that you didn't even let him know. You just right, like, you know. Uh, my number three is uh, Skinnamarink. A dinky dink skin of marinky do. <laughs> My number three is the conference over on Netflix. That shit was weird and crazy and fucking awesome. Cool mask. Trust me, watch the pop up shit after. You'll see what I'm talking about. <laughs> but yeah, that was my number three. And my number two. Wait, shit. No, that was my number two. My bad. My number three is Hill, Hill House LLC. <laughs> so there's three and two. But yeah, Hell House LLC and the conference. Dropping your two early. I get it. <laughs> well, I was doing the three and two, but yeah. So that was my number three. So my number two is the angry black girl and her monster. Nice. Great movie. Great retelling of Frankenstein. Yeah, yeah. that shit was so fucking awesome. Yeah. That shit was awesome. And then the way they told they told the story to make it portray, it just worked so well. So well. It was so good. My number two was actually the mill. Because I was Ooh. very impressed on Hulu getting it right and actually making a really great movie. I, you know what? Uh, Sturdy and I were talking about that movie today. And one thing to point out while we're talking about it, uh, I don't think it was just Hulu because it seemed like a, a lot of cool tricks were used. Even uh, Lil Rel, uh, like I was telling Sturdy, blind, had himself blindfolded and driven to the set so he didn't know where the set, uh, the filming location was. Oh, mm ended uh you know so he can get more intense with it like you know because i do feel like that's got to be a fear of like you not knowing where you are you know even if you yeah, trust yeah. the people around you um it just has to throw throw up some parameters of paranoia so like i feel like that for somebody who's just usually considered a comedian um yeah. you know who, and shows up that way i've seen him some good dramas but he really did nail it in this one i think he played a really cool desperate uh, husband and father role. So I, I think the the filmmaking is what made this so much special. Uh, so special. Yeah. Agreed. Who did you do your number two, Mick? I did that. Was, uh, and the angry black girl and her monster. Well, Paul oh. was up last time. He did. Dear uh, God, it's me, Margaret. Oh, <laughs> Ebony version. My, my number one that went straight to streaming was no, no, Dark no, Harvest. No. Oh. no, no, you're good then. You did your two. So, James, would you say? Did you do your two? <laughs> oh, number two. <laughs> you dropped, you, I, did you drop your two this? today? Six. Two and one, yeah. Streaming? No, that was theater. Theater? Well, then I don't have it when evil lurks. <laughs> That's fair. When evil lurks. Yes. It was like straight streaming. Well, at the same time, no, it went theater. theater and streaming. Oh, I don't know. Mm. No, Not it you. didn't. Paul, number one for my uh, number one. stream. <laughs> my number one streaming was Dark Harvest. Nice. I gotta see that. My number one was uh, Good Boy, Norwegian film. Yeah, I gotta check that one out too. My number one, same as you, James. Nice. When evil, when evil lurks. Um. Now, just to talk about this list a little bit, is there any of these that you think could have went to theaters? Yes. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I, I, I don't know if Good Boy made it in, Nor in Norway, mm -hmm. but um, it didn't make it really here. I mean, maybe probably some art house, but it was a, it was a, they got the film backed through Indiegogo and they, then it was running the festival route. So I think it might have just went to streaming. Okay. Uh, I, I really, this could have been done well in theaters, I think. Okay. So. I, like as much as I enjoyed when evil lurks, I want to say that no, movie because it, it would be. Yeah, I would. It would be awesome to see it in theaters. It'd be it awesome. It would, to see but that in I don't. Theaters. I don't think it would. I don't know how well it would do. Think, though. I'm that's thinking the, about that's it. But I don't think it would do. <clears throat> that's the downside. Not enough drive. Not enough like star power or anything. I gotta. I gotta tell you a lot of. I'm gonna take those off for a minute because they're. <laughs> um, I'm causing destruction on the show for the last of the year. Uh, so I think a lot of those movies that we see that are, I don't know, what do you call them? Fucking independent or are they mm -hmm. like just streaming service backed? Uh, you know, the ones that like Hulu does or, you know, Netflix, yeah. they have their own like production company. Yeah. Yeah. Out. 
I think when it comes to the streaming side, it, we get better horror movies than the theaters a lot of times mm. because there's a less oversight. That's fair from, from the studios. That's fair. So, because Netflix is yeah. essentially a mill who that is just like, this is the movie we want you to make. Go make it. Okay. You know, and and you know they might be a little more hands on since they started getting prominence, but uh, I doubt it. <laughs> okay. So, who you think does better, Netflix or Hulu? Uh, who makes Ooh. better Netflix makes better stuff, but I'm not not by much. I mean, you can just tell Hulu does better movies. You know, I think they make. Movies? I think I Hulu, Hulu has does. no oversight because Disney doesn't give a fuck about it, uh, and nobody else did. So I think they have a lot of freedom to do the stuff they want to do. That's that's, that's interesting. fair. That's cool though. You know, what cool. horror movies off Hulu? It wasn't. Yeah. Now, wasn't Disney selling, trying to sell off Hulu, or were they buying it all? It was one or the other. I don't remember because didn't they? Did they? No, own I know they're combined now. I don't. Know. We have Hulu pay two extra dollars. Yeah. No, well, but I, yeah. Thought, I thought they were selling off their rights or something. I don't remember. No, no, Disney bought up Hulu. They own it. Now. Okay, okay. So now they own it fully. Okay. Yeah. It's so <laughs> weird because I have. So now I have Hulu. And I have Disney Plus. Me too. And if I go on Disney Plus, you can go to Hulu anytime. Mm -hmm. And I'm yep. like, why are you? But I I ordered the bundle that was supposed to be sta saved in price. Disney is very... fucking us one way or the other. That's one way or the other, dude. Yeah. They always do. <laughs> <laughs> fucking Disney. Fucking... They might have. They might have. If when you sign up for the bundle, they mm -hmm. should send you a bottle of lube and just say bend over it because that they're yeah. getting your money. They're getting your money. That's true. And we don't they argue. Might... Bottom five overall, guys. Oh, are we ready for it? Oh, it can't be Blood movie? Lake. No, I, I, that, no, I, it, it, it was the first time watch. If it wasn't a first time watch, or else it, it would have made that list. But uh, so my honorable mention is. Is it honorable if it's for your worst list? Yeah, I didn't make a honorable for worst. <laughs> I did. I had to. I, <laughs> I, I, I really, it's not really. You mean I do. it should be re really? It should be dishonorable. That's fair. My dishonorable mention, the keep. <laughs> and then I'll also name my number five in case. Uh, the girl on the floor. CM Punk, you fucking suck in movies. Oh, she's terrible. on the floor, all right. Terrible. <laughs> terrible. <laughs> Stay in the ring. Face down on the floor. Jeez. So, all right. So we're doing the bottom, right? So, and this is number five. Just like the girl on the floor. If you have honorable mention, you can mention it. If not, then number five. Yeah. I don't have an honorable mention. This is hard enough. Um, <laughs> so, so Sturdy made this. I love that's what the girl on the floor said. I love why Sturdy did this because he watches new movies all year round, like, but they may be old, and I love that. So, he did this weird thing where we make a list of movies we watch for the first time, no matter when they came out. Now, the reason I say this is I watch a lot of fucking movies, so most of these are going to be brand new, and two of them are going to be because of horror was first dirty. That's fair. <laughs> So, but my number with that being said, so I don't want anybody getting mad. Like, why is S on there? Is because it's one of the worst new movies I just watched. Uh, Five Nights at Freddy. Wow, one of James's favorites. Ooh. Was it that bad? It was bad. No, here's can I just say, yeah, the drama of it was really good. But it just didn't work without the, through the the story, which pissed me off because it was like the, the guy, you know, this brother suffering, trying to take care of his sisters, dead parents. Like his brother was taken because he wasn't watching him. Like the guilt that literally, like that was a it could have been a very cool dramatic movie that they fucked up by trying to surround it around Five Nights at Freddy. <laughs> and I'm like, I was like, I kind of don't care about any of the rest of this shit. And you're kind of taking me away from the drama. That's the only good part. That's fair. I just that's thought only thing. You're a fucking liar. No, Take it back. <laughs> I'm James. I'm fucking away. <laughs> wow. That's hilarious. You're a fucking liar. Take now it. Now that back. was a reaction. Yeah, it was. <laughs> yeah, it was. I did like the banana splits movie, but I I'm I I get it. <laughs> All right, Paul. How about you, good sir? Uh, my number You're... five is No One Will Save You. I hated that movie. Go oh, fuck yourself. 
I do. <laughs> I will again. Any, anything else that we got to discuss on this one while we, uh, just because when, when people start calling out, I'm going to just, do you guys want to debate it? Do you want to discuss it? Are you good? Why? Well, I don't have Why was it one of your say, worst? It's on my. I got nothing Wait. for Paul. I got nothing for Paul on this because I don't understand Paul half the time. I don't understand him. I don't understand you. I don't I understand so you. Much. I, don't I don't understand, understand you. Taste movie. You love you will love <laughs> some movies and say that was shit. Like the, like I do not understand how you thought the blackening was shit unless you thought it was being taken seriously. But I don't understand why you didn't like no one will save you. Like like no one will I'll tell what you what about it no bothered was, you. I don't know. I just I'll thought it was like about me. It's my There you go. Go ahead. The reason I don't like it is because fucking girl fist fighting. She's running through the house. <laughs> that sounds just awesome. Chasing. No, the that story awesome. is boring. Our aliens basically chase through a house and there's nothing going on. Game of tag. Can I? Tag. Yes. Can I? First of all, it's not. There's a lot more. There's a lot more. <laughs> you you tell me there's a movie then about a girl that fist fights no... aliens? No. Uh, listen, all, then all the I'm going to say no while sense. he's frozen. Hold on, you're telling me there's a movie where a girl fist fights aliens <laughs> and then you're mad yes. that the ending makes no sense. Dude, you're, I love it's a fucking this, movie where a girl you, fist, fist fights fight an alien. Your biggest, your biggest arguments against this movie is she's just <clears throat> fighting aliens and then like in, in the next 13 weeks, like I, I'm pretty sure I'm going to be watching Star Trek and Star Wars, which is mm. literally movies That's about right. This is like fighting aliens. That's so ah, good. yeah, it's always different. So this, it's not. They're doing. They're doing that. There's with an alien invasion. Home invasion of aliens for some fucking weird reason. He's hiding. She's just being. Like they needed a new queen. In her own. It was James is getting upset. Before she's like, "What's going on?" Movie made no sense. Fuck. He loved it. He loved it. He knows he loved it. <laughs> and almost made <laughs> this guy. He's upset. Fabulous. He's very upset. He's right. He is right, though. <laughs> but Paul, they, Paul doesn't really think that. Paul's I want to watch this movie Paul's and talk about a, how much I love it buddy. just to piss off James. <laughs> Go ahead. You should watch it. It made no sense. Couldn't get my time back from that. I had high hopes for it and it just let down. Exactly. Listen, was this bad as, what was it, the, the fifth kind or whatever the fuck that was? That was a dumb one. And you know what fucked and me up about that dumb. one? You know the true story <laughs> they based that on? Have you ever heard the true story? No. Mm -mm. It, was, <laughs> um, it was actually... The, the the 10 people that went missing like they were just froze to death on their trek back to nome alaska or, or, or their trek back to their village from nome alaska they were they were native uh native tribesmen and they made it about alien abduction <laughs> they didn't say anything about these men having frozen wow. to death while they were walking going back because sometimes yeah. they would get drunk and they'd walk back to their little village not too far away and it would get Jeez. below and they would freeze okay now I'm not. I mean, that's that's. Yeah, I realize that's not like exciting, but <laughs> at the same time, you know, whatever. that's fair. That's fair. All right. Let's... So we've got a couple still... announcements, but I'll wait till we're done with the bottom five list. Um, who went last? Paul, you we went, on, right? Are we on? What was, what, was, what was the last movie mentioned? That no one will save you. Did you do and that was five? your number five, right? Was that five? Yes. That yeah. Five. So you're gonna you're gonna do five and four, James. Okay, five for me. Oh, I'm gonna pick off the marine. <laughs> what was your four? That sucked. It was boring. It was not creepy. You're a fucking liar. I was so I was so bored during that fucking movie. It was not boring. It was not it thrilling, is. but it was not it boring. Is. Kids didn't really see him. You you just hear mom. Then squawk, just squawk, there, motherfucker. Window. You see someone you hear walking. Vince, man, that's fucking. 2020. Boring as hell. <laughs> oh shit, my shit's falling off. Yeah, I'm not wow. even listening to so you. Anyway, was, anyway. Well, no, like I, I put it up there not because it's a great horror movie or anything, but because I think the filmmaking is chilling and I think it works, and I love the idea of the experiment behind it. Fellas, That's I'm right. hopping off. I just wanted to pop in All and say right, Happy Chris, New Year. Have a, have a, have All right, Chris, dude, thank you so much. Happy New Year, new fam. And I'll, I'll talk to you tomorrow. I'll send the link for the thing tomorrow. Yeah, man. Let me know. Later have a good one, man. Later. Peace.
Go pee pee. I need to go pee pee. And my number is Curse. That movie sucked. Okay. You're an, Am- You're an Amityville curse. <laughs> Amityville curse. All right. Paul, number four. So, number four was uh, Five Night at Freddy's. Damn, there's two of them on there. Yep. Is there going to be any discussion about Five Nights at Freddy's? Oh, sorry, I mean to do that. I, know to, I, I really didn't mind it. I just do you have to do it good. Like I, I like again as a horror movie. Like I do, I think it's a. I think it was a good drama, except for the Five Nights at Freddy shit. It was okay. It was, just, it was just a rip off of Banana Splits to me, so I, I was kind of disappointed because I did yes. like Banana Splits. Oh. So I was like, okay, cool. That's what I was watching. I, think... I was just. It's a little bit more violent. Okay? So this is a little bit better for me. That's fair. That's how I'm, I, I I'll say this because this one could go on this. This one could have went on. I mean, if you put it on your tablet, it could have went on streaming or theater because it came out in both the same time. I'm glad yeah, I didn't yeah, see it. Yeah. I'm glad. It, I'm. Gl- this is one that should have just went to stream. After that. It should have just went just to Peacock. Didn't need to go to theaters. I'm glad I didn't go see it in theaters. I'm glad I double checked that day when me and the wife were about to go see it in theaters. But uh, number four for you, Mick. Number four for my bottoms is the uh, Black <laughs> Demon. Black Demon. It has been it has That's been sleeping hard. with my girlfriends for so long. <laughs> I put it on my. Oh no, sorry. Um... <laughs> that, that almost made. Uh, the Black Demon made my list because it's uh, like I knew going in it was going to be a shitty shark movie. <laughs> I don't know why I went in. I did, and I the didn't even review it. Cool. I was like, I don't know. I it was a horrible looking cover. It's cover. hard to fuck up a, a shark cover, though. True, that's fair too, though. Yeah. And you can't. Two headed shark attack is definitely one of them. Then three headed shark attack. True. And then Sharknado. Sure. But like, like if you kind of copy Jaws, it's iconic. It's fucking gonna be chilling and amazing. So fuck Black Demon. <laughs> okay. That was your four. My turn. Yes, sir. Grizzly two is my number four. My number three. Skin of Marinky Dinky bullshit. I didn't like that. <laughs> you fucking traitors. I'm just being uh, honest, my guy. We just it's like good movies. So Don't be hate on us. Shut your goddamn mouth. <laughs> I love it, but all right. My, what are we doing? My number three? Yes, yeah. sir. All right. Uh, the Exorcist Believer. That was such a piece of shit. Shut your fucking mouth. That was a great movie. Are you fucking kidding me? Are you fucking on, kidding? Let me see. His it was page. on my top list. It, it's on my are you top serious? five list. It's on your top, top five, five list. list? It was in my top five list. Did you, you even see this. the original? Yeah. And I didn't, you didn't I don't know how you didn't. Oh, like you're it. a Linda Blair head. <laughs> oh god, she's back. So she's fucking cool. She was in the original. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, exactly it. And you'll so find more of this hard every Tuesday night. When I saw her come on, I was like, yes. <laughs> I I it was three seconds. I, I can't talk to you. That's fine. <laughs> I can't believe you put uh, uh, you're welcome. Uh, can't even look at you. <laughs> no, I don't care if you like it. I, it was on my bottom. I didn't like it. <laughs> I, I just it didn't it didn't hold the same weight, and I was really hoping it would. Don't worry. If you think you're gonna be pissed at my number three, wait until Sturdy hears my two and one. Oh no. They were first time watches for me. Uh oh. <gasps> oh no. I have a feeling I know what it is. He'll be back. He'll be back. Okay. But uh while he's uh settling things, what's your number? When My number gonna... three was uh, the Boogeyman. I hated that remake. I don't even remember it. So I don't think it liked you either. That's fine. I no, know I still no it in theaters, but I don't really remember it because it was that bad. You wanted to forget it. It just there was nothing to it. I mean, could be that. Could be my memory sucks. It was wasn't that that came out like earlier this year though, right? Yes, sir. Okay, yeah. It wasn't good. I, I, I'll say this. I guess it this is no waves. Yeah, it wasn't good enough to stand out. No, not at all. Mm-hmm. There we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. Paul just went. He did his number Probably. three. He said it was Boogeyman. Mm-hmm. What is your number three, and then your number two right after for bottom list? Devil Beneath. And two is Don't Look Away. 
Okay. Don't look away. I forgot about that one. I'm not going to lie. I didn't even – I meant to watch it. <laughs> I didn't get a chance to watch it, so maybe it's a good thing, but I'm going to have to watch it now. Your yeah, number two. My number dose. My number dose is The Blackening. Wow. You're sick fuck, you know that? All right, Paul, I got to talk about that. <laughs> I got to take the shades off for this one. Listen. Wait, what are we doing? What was I, okay, that number Paul. two? I didn't give my number two. I know, I know, I know, I know. I got to talk oh. to Paul about this, though. Listen. Yeah. Do you, do he you, hates do black you, people. That's what he's saying. <laughs> do, you, do you mess with the green? No, I don't. You know this. But but I, I do drink. drink. I do drink. Yeah, yeah. The better thing would be to mess with the green. All right, Paul, do me a favor. Don't drink for one week. And just smoke pot. I, I freak get, out. I get too anxious. I freak nah, out. I bet, you, I bet you if you got used to it, you're coming to my house. You're smoking this shit. I'm a punk, man. What I'm about an edible? Punk. Like if you try to smoke like a small dosage of an edible. Here. It's me over. I've never tried small dosage just because I've seen people get floored by edibles, even take a small bite where they're like, I'm not. No, you got to take, take a weak dosage. Yeah, just take Trust a weaker me, one. Either way. Go I get a like, CBD gummy. That may actually help. If you don't smoke, a CBD gummy would help. Because it's not, it's not as I'll strong. CBD, you can you can like it will just keep you chill. Okay. Yeah. I'll do CBD but gummy. I'll meet you halfway. That is, that, that's that's the type of movie you want to be high when you watch it. Like I don't think drunk's gonna help. High, yes, because high. Yeah, high, high I think will. And sure. it's more of like that fun kind of loose thing. I think drunk, you can see there. I don't know. You're more serious when you're drunk. I feel that's why people fight so much. Oh. <laughs> not you in general. I'm just saying oh. in general. In general, <laughs> like the I scope. Think- People when they're hot, when everybody's high. I, I had to watch the play. I'll put it to you like this: If you have a whole room of people that are high as shit and nothing is going on, it, that room could be quiet as fuck because everybody's just so damn high they don't know what to do, they don't know what to say, they're just sitting there. <laughs> stuck. I know, right? There you go. But no, it's it's one of those ones though. You want to watch high? Trust me. It's so hey, fun. I might watch it again. Hi. Number two, Mick. You're not gonna <laughs> like it. Okay. Thanks, killing. <laughs> I should have known. What? That's and terrible. This movie. Don't say why. Don't say why. Like you don't know. You Listen, know. I don't I'm care what you said. I love the movie. The movies are hilarious. They're Very not funny. hilarious. I'm offended, and that's the thing. I'm not even offended that they're not scary. I'm not offended that they have weird shit in it. I'm offended that they're not funny, but they claim to be. I think they're fucking hilarious. So that's one you shouldn't watch. High. Yeah. Because. Yeah. You just I watch, watch it. Sober and high, so you should try whatever you do. But uh, let's go to my number two. It came out this year. That fucking new Children of the Corn bullshit. Oh my god, it was bad. Yeah. I wanted to like it too, but I wanted to like it. It fucking oh my gosh. It would have made number one, but there was a movie that I watched that I never thought I'd watch in my life, but I did, and we reviewed it, and I fucking hated it. Cannibal Holocaust. That's my yeah. number one. Oh, that shit is just, uh, that's garbage. Really? Yeah, I. Wow. It's, it's, okay. it's uh, it does suck, but that wouldn't have been my first watch of the year. I've seen that before. Uh, I've never I seen got it. Number- Actually, um, my number one. If Thanks Killing's number four, Thanks Killing Three's number one or number two, the number one. They were the worst fuck. They were the worst fucking movies I've watched all year. You know what? I'm so pr- I'm proud of that. Listen, here's why. Yeah, because two years in a row you got me a dick. No, I think three years because I think you, did, you, you gave me. To... I don't know when you gave me fucking. I'm so Lydia, that is Blood Lake. I gave him Blood, Blood Lake is something that, like Thanks Killing. It's gonna be one of those ones you're gonna forget about because you're not gonna watch again. Even though I'm talking about it and all that other shit, you're not gonna watch again. Blood Lake though, you watched that twice. We did a script read. We're trying to get the rights and all this other shit. Like that's really gonna be stuck with you for a lifetime. You're welcome. <laughs> I can't yeah. wait for Paul to watch it. Did you watch it yet? Not yet. I can't wait for you to watch it. I, I'll do it for you, Sturdy. Mm-hmm. I appreciate that. Oh, you exactly. may need a drink. You, you may be, need a drink. If you want to be in the scene, it's, it's a life changing experience. Okay. Then I'll watch it. I'll watch it then. I'll it watch is. it this week. It Don't is. blame me for it when you watch it. No, I'll blame Sturdy for it. That's why blame I said it. Oh, that's fair. Right. No, that's fair. You guys, <laughs> it, you guys call it blaming, but uh, blood, blood Lake owners, you're welcome. Just send me the movie. That's all. I can't believe Dan tried to buy you the fucking thing. That's hilarious. <laughs> so, number one for you, Paul. It's that skin of my bullshit. I've tried watching that fucking thing six times, and it's just boring <laughs> as fuck. I did it once for yeah. a podcast, and that was it. 
Y'all yeah. never, y'all never been left alone when you were plenty of times. Oh, like that. That. Used to be alone. <laughs> I was alone. Left. <laughs> Nothing like that ever. I, I kept my. I was always in my keep room. Her spelling, her alone. <laughs> <laughs> no, when you were a real little stupid. <laughs> uh, You're not really stupid. I just wanted to say that. Oh uh, shit. Okay, <laughs> so number one for you, James. Oh shit. The offering. The offering. Mm. Oh, okay, I remember. We reviewed it a couple of weeks ago. Really, it fits the that list. That quick, huh? Yep. Wow. Oh yeah, crap. Yeah, I had watching. <laughs> That's fucking funny. That's fucking funny. It's funny oh, you mentioned the wheels don't always win. Hey, listen, oh, they, don't. they don't. They uh, don't. <laughs> all right. Hell yeah, Mick. Yeah. Tricked me. I was like, oh, I might like this, and nah. Fuck that movie. <laughs> I love it. You tried, James. You tried. Dead. All right. I guess I'll kick off the uh, top five overall list. Their last with. list? Yeah. My honorable mention. Do you guys, have, does okay. anybody else have an honorable mention besides myself? No. For this one? It don't matter if he's crossing over, right? No, that doesn't matter at all. So, so, so anybody has an honorable oh. mention, do your honorable mention, and then your number five as well. No, that doesn't matter if they cross over, James. Okay. So my honorable mention is okay. Creature from the Black Lagoon. First time I've ever seen it, and I fucking just adore Fuck that yeah. film. It was such a beautiful fucking okay. film. That is my that right. is my favorite fucking. Uh, oh my god, what are they called? Universal. Thank you, Monsters. Universal Monster. That, that's my guy right there. I oh, that yeah. movie is just so fucking amazing. Like I I want I want that. I gotta own that movie. I got I want more of that movie. I I want to learn more about that character. That shit was just so cool. And then my number five, which actually we watched recently, was off the uh, Christmas in a uh, Jewish horror wheel, Inside. The one where the woman Ooh, cuts the baby out the other, out the other woman's stomach. That's one that just one. like, you're like, holy shit. Like another, cra- again, crazy ass woman, man. I'm telling you, she was white. But uh, anyway, <laughs> <laughs> it, it, it was like when you watch the whole story, though, and you watch the whole fucking movie, you're just like, oh, my God. Holy shit! Watch that fucking movie. Like that was a good fucking movie. Seriously. But uh, Mick. So three. my all right. Here's the thing with mine. So uh, mine's gonna be really boring. Like I feel I'm feeling you guys have some really good ones. But like it's again, this is not a flex in any way. Like I've just watched so many fucking movies. Uh, all the new like my lists every year are sort of all similar so i'm just going to throw out my top five real quick because it's very similar to my other two top lists which is five is talk to me four is the angry black girl and her monster three is thanksgiving two is evil dead rise and one is good boy i wish i could say i watched classics that were better than those this mm-hmm. year but i did not it was kind of a year of bad okay. movies for me uh, so and i've seen a lot of the good ones so didn't really matter that's fair, that's fair. i do well we'll get to it actually we'll get to it we'll get to it so paul number well, what number yeah on, so my honorable mention was uh the mill okay and then um my first time watch i guess last year i missed it so um i watched it for the first time this year was vhs 94 nice nice those are always good Ooh. then james your honor if you have an honorable mention do that your five and your four if not five four all right so my list because it's a lot of crossover a lot of newer stuff like that's on the list no, that's fair. we already did that's fair um so honorable mention cobweb number okay. five is evil dead rise okay and number four, nice Nefarious. Ooh. I don't Ooh. know if anybody's seen yeah, that. Yeah, Nefarious is a good one. Yeah. No, I mean, yeah. yeah. Real good. Like, that was just. No. And I thought they did it. I thought it was really interesting. Nice. Right. Dude, did Dave Chappelle drop a new fucking special today? Not that I know of. I think he did. I think it's called The Dreamer. I think he did. I think it's called The Dreamer. I hope so though, because he he always has like some really good. It's funny, but it's some deep shit at the same time. It's like, oh, yep, it just yeah, came he... out. Yeah, he's good. That's he's cool. really good. All right, 
my number four, since you said we could find first and second movies, I said uh, Creep 1 and 2, because this was the first year I got to watch those, and I love those. They were yeah, great. I appreciate that recommendation, oh, okay. Sturdy. You're yes, welcome, sir. Paul. You're welcome. Nick, sorry. No, I'm just kidding. I, think, yeah. I thought it was Sturdy. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I mean I was, those were great movies. We loved them. Number four for me was Talk to Me. And then number three was uh, Creep 1 and 2. Those are just some fucking... If you've never seen those, those are some wild found footage. Like, those are just some, like, oh, my God, what the fuck? Check them out. Mm. Uh, so, Paul, number three? Uh, my number three was uh, Hell House LLC Origins. Nice. Ooh. James, three, two. You know what? Three, two, and one. Because I want to do, I want to, uh, yeah. Oh. Number three, thank Thanksgiving. Nice. Number two, talk to me. Mm. And number one, oh, I'm sorry. Sorry, where am I? What did you say number Top one? Top five overall. Three, three, two, and never one. Never mind. Oh, okay. Never. I took Thanksgiving out. Number three, talk to me. When evil lurks at this. Nice, nice, nice. So my remaining ones is going to be the Barbarian Sound Studio, which was amazing. Oh, and then, um, yeah, you absolutely need to watch that. Then my number one is going to be um, Popcorn, because it was my first year watching Popcorn, and I that love that movie. That was a fun one. Wow. I fucking love Popcorn. Time to drop the A-bomb. That was fun. <laughs> if you Some ever popcorn. see that meme floating out there, hmm. That was me. I made that. Oh, yeah. You I, know I, what? I not water <laughs> Before I tell you guys my top, actually, no, I'll tell you guys my top two, and I'll tell you guys one that almost made my honorable mentions or in the top. Uh, so my number two was When Evil Lurks, and my number one was The Sadness, which that one I watched in like January. That movie is just, if you've never mm-hmm. seen those two movies right there, go check them out. Go check them out. Seriously. Yeah. But, uh, um, what the fuck was it? Chopping Mall almost made my, um, my top five overall mm-hmm. that that list it almost made at least an honorable mention. Right? One, if one for Creature for Black Lagoon, that would have made it. It was the first time I seen it this year, and I just had so much fucking fun with it. Kelly Marooney is going to be at CFF year. next year. Awesome, awesome. So that's going to be cool. But uh, yeah, this was uh, this was a fun one. I do gotta, I, I fuck, I gotta, I gotta, you know, we gotta know what the fuck we're doing in twenty twenty four for Horror Research Thirty, don't we? Well, if you want more lists, go over and check out this week's episode of the Scene Science Podcast. Yeah, you should probably go do that. Those are those are not horror. Like, there's a horror list, but actually, Paul's list is a lot of horror. <laughs> it wasn't all horror, though. At least no, I, no, no, no. I, you, I put good, others. you put a good <laughs> list, but like, you definitely love your horror. See, that's see, that's how Dude. my list would be because I only horror movies. <laughs> <clears throat> I mean, James, honest, I want to do this for popcorn and pints next year. But the thing is, we would just probably we would probably for me and you especially. But that's the that's where we would be pulling movies from. It's from that shit. <laughs> Because other than that, it's like I'm watching horror. Like even in my extra time, I'm watching horror. But uh, so yeah. as you guys may or may not know, we started this back with the indie with getting indie with search thirty. Started doing more of like a theme thing, and then it's more of like a, now it's more of like a monthly theme. Like 2024 January theme is going to be remakes. Should they have been remade? So we're gonna go through. We're gonna review them. You know, do we do all that fun shit. So I'm gonna let you guys know what we're doing for Tuesday and Thursday of 2020 fucking four. Oh man, it feels like it's been forever. I can't wait for the new list. I'm gonna have fun if you let me come on all those. Oh fuck Ooh. yeah, man! I hope it's a thing. Be the thing. Be the thing. Oh, oh fuck! So oh, oh, this is the yeah. Oh yeah, these are all yeah. Yeah, this is all remakes. All remakes. Yeah. One oh, okay. okay, one missed call. That used to be my ringtone. This fucking movie sucked. It wasn't the best, but the ringtone was cool. <laughs> Fair. <laughs> ringtone was cool. It was a doo 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 doo. You never seen it? No. Came out in what? Two thousand and nine? Something like that. It came out. I know, one or... I know. I was in high school when it came out because a lot of us made it our ringtone. That's fair. Yeah, it was well after my time. I'm old. He is. Yeah. 
Mick's like, I had graduated college at that point. It's fine. <laughs> Actually, I probably did. Actually, no, I, I was that movie came out well after when I should have graduated college. That's fair. <laughs> Evil Ooh, Dead. Yeah. Oh, oh, good oh. oh, I love it. I did like that one. That was a good one. Hell yeah. The Evil Dead. Hell yeah. Nice. I got stuff to say about this one. Yeah. Well, next, that'll be for <coughs> Thursday. That'll be fun. Yeah. Yes, sir. This will be good. Very good. Hell yeah. <laughs> Save that. Evil Dead. I don't, know, I don't even know why you did that one. <laughs> what one? You know what one. <laughs> the Evil Dead? Child's Play. Evil Dead? No, oh, Evil Dead's great. Yeah, that one. That one wasn't that. Uh, just a, I, honestly, I wanted to see it again to see how much I. I only watched it the one time in theaters. I really don't remember it. Mm. I was probably saying something about it, but we'll see. <laughs> All right, we'll see. And then the other announcement over on Popcorn and Pints. You listening? Starting next Saturday, we're going to be doing a versus, and we're going to a far, far away galaxy. I don't know all the other shit with that. I don't know all that galaxy shit. I'm sorry. I'm all over. <laughs> We're going to a <laughs> galaxy. <laughs> okay, I'll take I'll, I'll take over. On popcorn and pints, we are going to be journeying to a galaxy far, far away. Mm -hmm. On a final frontier to meet two fantastic sci-fi franchises. And what could they be? I'll let Sturdy take over and tell you. That's how you fucking pun, dude. <laughs> I don't know anything about those movies, so I had to certify them. Certify. So, uh, I'll help you. You know what? <laughs> Listen, people, we're doing a uh, Star Trek and <laughs> Star Wars. <laughs> That's what we're doing. Yep, I did that for you guys. You didn't think I knew that too, huh? I do. I'm excited <laughs> for it, though. I'm, I'm, I'm really excited for it. Me too. It, so it, we're gonna watch. These are the type of films we're gonna watch the first Star Wars. Not the fur wars. No, no, no. We're gonna do it. In, we're gonna everything's we're, in order. I think we're gonna no. We're gonna do it in order. Oh, we're gonna do it in order. Okay. No wheel. We're yeah, gonna I need to know the order. I don't know the order. I, don't know I do. Order. It's alright. Don't worry. We're working. So wait, on you it. need to watch them by Saturday night. We need to watch the two first ones. Okay. One so one. anybody who one. wants to join in on this, and for James, you are going to watch. For next Saturday night to be up to up to par with us, especially if you've never seen it before, I want you to watch Star Trek The Motion Picture from 1979, and then watch, of course, Star Wars The Phantom Menace, which is where we're going with the live action movies on this. The live action, we're not doing the animated. No. So, uh, watch those two movies for next Saturday night, and then we'll go on from there. Boom. And, of course, we'll have oh, this guy. Actually... Uh... Yeah, it's the it's the first in the saga, that okay. in chronologically. Okay. So we might as well start them going. Yep. And gotcha. uh, we're gonna. Mark, I mean, the schedule at least at the very least the first week will be out for tomorrow. So you you guys will know by the week you know what the schedule is. You'll see it out there and all the other stuff. So you guys can see it and stay along with us Oops. for next weekend. And um, but I'm excited for it just because it's it's one of those things similar to what your your Godzilla thing, like what you mentioned earlier in the episode. To where it's movies that I kind of want to watch or do want to watch, but it's like I won't make time to watch it. But with content like doing the podcast for, it, I'm like, okay, boom, that's easy to watch. I have to sit down and watch it, and I don't mean that in a bad way. It's just like I watch so many fucking movies to where, especially franchises, <laughs> long franchises. I'm like, I mean, that's why I did Freddy vs. Jason back in October. Like, I wanted to watch them, but I might as well make content out of it. Then I can watch them, and I'm not cutting up. I'm not wasting too much time. Yeah, so I've seen a handful of Star, Star Wars movies. Star Wars, so, I well, I, it's been so definitely rewatch them all. Yeah, Star Wars, I've seen as far as if you're going in chronological order, the last three, as far so, you know, as the, the number one, the older one, and then Return of the, the Jedi. and then the first, I've seen the last three, the first one, and then Star Trek. I know it was some of the newer ones, I don't know which ones because my wife enjoys those movies. I'm going to just so everybody knows, and if you are a Star Trek fan and a, or an end or a Star Wars fan, we are doing we are going chronological order, but we're except for the Kelvin timeline, 
my 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 Trekkies know, and that is the J.J. Abrams universe. Those three movies, so those will be tacked on at the end. So, and the reason being is because we want because they would take place after the last movie nemesis because of okay. spock so like we're gonna go by the regular timeline so that's why we're doing it um and of course that nice. will uh, coincide with we are also including solo and we are including uh rogue one so you're gonna want to make sure to watch those in between um the Re- uh, revenge of the sith and a new hope which again, this will all be scheduled just how it is for the regular episodes. It'll all be scheduled out and everything. This time, I'll make sure to have them out on time, early, and all that, just so everybody knows what's going on. Not just us behind the scenes, but you guys that want to follow along with us. And I'm, I'm hoping, I'm hoping, I'm really hoping that we can get a lot of fun conversation out of this because I know there's a lot of mm-hmm. diehard fans for both franchises. And I'm gonna give you my honest opinion. I'm not gonna be d- disrespectful, but I'm gonna give you guys my honest opinion. And I already know that. The few that I've seen, I did enjoy. I'll say, I'll give you, I'll give you that. But it's been years, and I'm excited. I, uh, if I could plug real quick, if that's yeah, cool. hell yeah. As we get, as we take off, I just want to say, um, thanks for having me, and appreciate you doing this. And guys, uh, go check us out over on the Scene Psalms. Um, we have a lot of fun stuff. This past week, we did the Scene Psalms podcast. We had a fun episode with our making our lists for that, uh, and doing some reviews on some Leave of the World Behind. And what was the other one we did, Paul? It was the one I didn't watch. And now oh, I'll... Dream Scenario. Dream Scenario it was phenomenal. Yeah. So, uh, and then, of course, Mick at Night, we just introduced the Absurdity Wheel. There's a new <laughs> Does It Suck for New Year's Eve. Paul has a new Space Camp interview out. Uh, very cool. Go check it out. Um, a lot of fun stuff happening. But, yeah, we got the Godzilla thing happening, too. So, thank you so much, Dirty. Yes. And nice. and aren't you, you guys are doing a lot of uh, Star Wars and stuff, too, coming up, right? Well, we do have it. We have the Warp Factor Fiction Star Trek rewatch podcast. So we watch. We are rewatching everything in true chronological order. We started from Enterprise. Uh, We are currently going to be picking. We took two months off, but we still had episodes where we did unboxings and gift guides Mm -hmm. and stuff. Uh, And then we uh, are picking up with uh, the original series. So there's about 17 episodes out now. Leading up to the original series, we're going to pick back up all throughout the year. So, uh, yeah, we're we're going strong. It's a lot of fun, and we have a lot of interviews coming up. Nice, so. nice, nice. Like I'm, I'm, I'm super excited, guys. Like I said, there's there's a bunch of awesome things going to be coming up in 2024 on Horror Stories 30, on Popcorn and Pints, on the Scene Snobs. A lot of stuff, a lot of stuff that we've been working at, especially at the end of this freaking year. Like just <laughs> literally, just damn near. Oh man working ourselves to the ground, just getting this shit together, getting ideas together. But I'm glad we did. I'll speak for myself. It's the first time I've ever done anything like this, like playing out a whole year ahead. And now it's just like so much easier. And now it's making me make other plans that I can actually make fit and do things because everything else is already like scheduled out and set. It's just a matter of just plugging things in. So it's going to be a fun ride, guys. It's going to be a fun ride. And you better not forget about late nights with Surge 30 because that is kicking off next friday midnight and i can't wait for that i'm bringing the weird crew with me you guys already know that if you come on that show you're just automatically <laughs> part of the, the the sturdy and the strange the sturdy strange crew that's what you i are. think we're gonna have uh, a mick at night next week too and i would love for everybody to come if we could because we have a really great topic do you want to let them know the topic <sighs> me yeah remember we we're talking about last night oh your favorite what no 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 sorry scratch that you want me to look it up one genre movie one genre of film for the rest of your life one genre only and you can get unlimited of it let's just say you can get unlimited you can get any movie but one genre what would that genre be tune in the mick at night because i I, I don't want anybody to answer right now and the reason i'm saying this is i really want people to i really want you guys to really think about this and let us know next or come on the show if you can next Friday, eight o'clock Eastern time at Mick at night and let us know because that is a dope, dope, dope question. And you could think of your favorite genre, but then do you have to really think, do you really want to watch that for the rest of your life? Getting zero breaks from it as far as when you want to watch movies. Yeah, I think I think and the funny part of that, j- j- just to just to I'll even say just to, just for argument's sake, so people are like, okay, well, what if I want to watch j- well, what if I watch what if I want to watch a show? No, it's movies and show. Anything you watch on television. 
Besides like sports, no, fuck that. Mm-hmm. Movies and show. That's all you can watch. So Movies just the, well, just the genre. We'll just say the genre. So what? Fits. Yeah, that genre. Because I think that can expand on. All right. Well, what shows count now? Because yep. like hardcore, if you like dramas, you got to live with dra- drama movies. Mm-hmm. You know, so that might be cool. Mm-hmm. So we'll, 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 we're going to plan that out. Uh, make sure you guys join in Mick at night. Uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. Actually, this week we got a really cool interview with a friend of mine. She's from the film industry. She's in DGA. She works a lot on Sweet. big movies. So she's going to be filling us in on a lot of stuff. It's going to be really fun. Awesome. 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 Yeah, nice. I'm telling you guys, 2024, <laughs> we have a lot of stuff coming out and I can't wait. I'm, I'm just... I always want to create more and I always want to do more. And I'm just like, I don't have the time. I got to stop. I got to slow down. <laughs> Focus on what I got going on. Cause I got a lot going on and I'm, I'm ready for it. I'm this ball is going to drop. And this, <laughs> <laughs> listen, the ball ain't going to drop for another two hours. And the they let me owls are going to drop. If I don't get all stairs in like 10 <laughs> seconds, this guy, this guy, <laughs> Do to one himself, but seriously, though, people enjoy the rest of this year, enjoy every moment. Um, and then when you leave this year, leave all the negativity behind, like, leave every single piece of negativity, thoughts, whatever. And that, and, it, and that even means people, like, if there's people you don't talk to, don't fuck with, leave that behind as far as leaving them behind, leaving conversations about them. don't even bring them up in 2024 for what. Don't no, I, and I gotta just, I well, no, I'm not disagreeing with you, but I want to disagree with you, Paul, even now. You may not like them. You may not throwing up fingers at anyone. Be peaceful. Bring on the good karma, my friends. That Say, is going right, to be peaceful. I may, <laughs> I may not want to be around this person or like this person. Go be well. You're in the cage. Go be you well. know, gotta, gotta have that karma, man, because then you're going to be walking like me one day, like a fucking hippopotamus. <laughs> don't want that shit. Trust me. Mm-hmm. Well, what I mean by that is just leave all that negative shit in the past. If there's Not someone you, that you, I was talking to him. Oh, got it. <laughs> Two different things. But leave all that negative shit in the past. <laughs> Bring all the positivity with you and uh, do something cool. Do something cool. Do something nice for somebody. Listen to a cool song on the way into 2024. Think about that. Don't tell me what to do. So I'm, a crack, simple, as I'm a simple man. kind of man. Don't be negative to this right idea. You know, if, if you're a crackhead, <laughs> right. now's the time to put the pipe down. You go into 2024, you're not a crackhead anymore, and leave it that way. What 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 song what song are we going in on? That's a good question. What what do you got? Swift. I'm no, a Barbie girl. Honestly, I don't know. It depends on what I'm doing at the time. And I'll you just take the good. Right. You take the bad. Something 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 something. Facts facts life. life. The facts <laughs> when the girls are 22 playing 15, the facts of life family. don't really pertain to them. <laughs> what? Oh, sorry. But uh, listen, I'm going to let everybody off one by one because this is fun. If you guys want to go to the green. I have to take a shit, so let me off first. <laughs> but, uh, appreciate every single one of you guys on here. Mick, if you have anything to say before you go. <laughs> said it. I love you all. Happy New Year. I fucking love you guys. I know, I'll talk to you later. Happy New Year. Have a good one, man. Later. Sure. Paul? <laughs> yep. <laughs> Sorry. That's... You're good. Um, You're good. You got to do it nah. too? I don't. So I'm going to stay and chill. But uh, thank you guys for watching <sighs> us tonight. Continue to watch Sir Sturdy and all of our other shows. And uh, oh, yeah. I'm going to flick people off because I don't really hate anybody. So fuck hating anybody. That's really that's really why I don't hate anyone. There you Honestly. Go. There Just you go. Talk. Right. Um, <laughs> Except my old self, so I hope I'm a lot better than my current self by next year at this time. So yeah, so then leave your old self behind, the badness of it, or whatever you think is bad. But Negative. that's it. Leave it in 2023. And I, look, and I hope uh, our shit list of bad horror movies we had to watch in 2024 is a little easier on us than this past year. So, oh, I hope it's way yeah. worse. I hope. <laughs> what oh my god. I want to see some crazy bad shit next year. I do want to. No, let me rephrase. Let me let me say this too, though. I want to see some amazing films. I want to see some really really good movies. But I want to see some movies where I'm just yeah. Like, what the fuck was I want hotter, better movies where they go like. Here's what here, here's what I'm saying. Ninety nine percent good. One percent. No, no, no. <laughs> I, I I got a better way of saying that that'll cover both. There you go. I want movies that will th- just for fun for conversation that are good for conversation. Right. Those ones that stick, like Blood Lake, as much as we hate it, it brings that conversation back and it sticks. Seriously, all jokes aside. So if that's from the bad. And then from the good, 
I mean, we could use a fun one like Cocaine Bear. Right. Or for me and you, James, like fucking the sadness from the beginning of this year, we're still talking about that fucking movie. Yeah. From the beginning of 2023. Right. So that that you get the good, the bad, then you get like the fun shit. So I want those movies. I want good or bad or indifferent. I want the ones that are going to like stick around and have that conversation or the ones that are just like, yo, go check that shit out. Like again, hunt her, kill her. Go check that shit out. I was dead serious about that. Rebirth, rebirth. Go check that shit out. I was dead serious about that. Inside, them shits are just fucking wild. And of course, when evil lurks, my number one on streaming and my number two on overall and my number one overall, the sadness, which would have been the sad. If I would have did a list last year like this, the sadness would have been my number one last year for 2022 and overall, of course. But seeing as how the first time I seen it was this year, it's this year. And that shit was just like, oh, my God, it was just so fucking wow. If you if you have not seen that. Make that be your first movie of 2024. Don't even start it now. Wait, let, let that be your first movie of 2024. It's like one, one of the best are my favorite. Oh, it's mine. Hands down. Hands down. It's mine. Like mine was. Um, I forgot what mine was. That this shit was so fucking cool. <laughs> Fuck that. This 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 is just like, wow. Like this one, blow, like whatever my number one was, which I probably have to make a new list and go through all that shit again one day. But uh, anyway, my number one, well, this one now like is eons above that. I just enjoyed this one so much. It was so wild, crazy, sick, dirty, violent. But it was a zombie flick, and I wanted just the tone of the film was like a fucked up. But it was it was one of those things where it was like, if this shit, like if this shit started happening. I'm not gonna do so well. <laughs> I'm not even gonna front. I'm not gonna play the fake tough guy no. bullshit. I'm not gonna do so well. You might see me in a closet crying. <laughs> Shit, like, come get me. I don't know what the fuck to do. But um, yeah. So on that note, guys, hang on, hang on, hang on. I gotta do this. I had a, I had, I had a great time this year. I really did overall. On in life, of course. And with horror research thirty and everything else, and um, I can't wait to make some more memories in twenty twenty four and have a lot more fun in twenty twenty four. And I hope to meet a lot more of you. I hope more are around. I hope more tune into horror research thirty, and uh, of course, popcorn and pints and the scene times, all that. And just I want to see a lot more fucking horror movies, man. I really do. Like I need to see a ton more horror films. Some really, really, really good horror films. Some really fucking good horror films is what I'm really looking forward to. Like these two, like The Sadness and like Evil, When Evil Lurks. And I just watched that the other night and it made number two on my overall list. And if it wasn't for The Sadness, I would have easily made number one. And there was no debate though. Like I thought there was going to be a debate, but there was no debate for me. But um, yeah. So people, what I'm going to end you guys with is besides Happy New Year, Nicolas Cage sucks. Enjoy horror. Just enjoy a lot of horror. Um, and seriously, like, share, subscribe, all that good shit. Hit that notification button so when my silly ass comes on, you guys can hear me, see me, and all that good shit. I know I got to drop some audios. I'll work on all that shit tomorrow. Uh, I may game later. I'm not sure yet. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing, but I'm about to just chill. I'll see you in your nightmares. Peace.